we're going to look at healthy living. We're going to talk a little bit about our lifestyles, how healthy we think we are with some questions. We've got a little true or false quiz at the beginning. I've been in, obviously sitting in Burrowbridge High School and I've been teaching some students, Year 11 students, who are in Ripon Grammar School um, with a view to them hopefully doing some Spanish A-level next year. Y deporte preferido es una pregunta muy difícil. Difficult question, this one. Main benefits that students have got from this experience as a as a first first hand watching what's been going on is the ability to interact with the tutor. Um, and there's different buttons. There's like a happy face and a sad face, and you can press the buttons, and then it starts flashing. So then the teacher will know that you want to ask them something, or you can also type your question in either. To the, every laptop or just to the teacher's laptop. It really does feel like you're in the same classroom and we feel we've built up a good working relationship and um, really you can do everything that you'd do if, you, if they were actually physically there with you. The teacher was able to use things just like they would on an interactive whiteboard in a classroom, anything from bringing up a website to um, using uh, polling tools so that students could express their opinion. No or más o menos? ¿Qué significa más o menos? Unlike in a normal classroom where students would have to individually go to the board, each student was able to interact individually from their own laptop. Clearly we're at a position from a staffing perspective whereby we would have to employ extra staff to enable Spanish to actually take place at, a, at AS level. I didn't particularly want to do that in the current financial climate given that the set size was likely to be rather small. So this was a proposal on, in working in conjunction with Boroughbridge High School to see if we could utilise their Spanish staffing to enable our students to access uh, a Spanish provision uh, via this uh, IT system. IT managers definitely need to take a hands-on role in setting this up and ensuring that the system is properly tested before it goes live in the classroom environment. The good tips for the wireless is to make sure that you have a very strong connection in the room that you're going to be working on. Um, we added extra access points in the rooms just to make sure that there's a, a strong connection there so everyone can get on at the same time. We've, we've used it in different ways. We've actually used the video conferencing to, to have a, a, a lecture delivered from Harrogate Hospital. So we had students here um, and a, a surgeon from Harrogate Hospital delivering the material into to the class, the science class here. We would also like to use it in order to foster the relationships with the other schools as a virtual classroom, virtual meeting room to be able to provide that tutorial support, workshops, extra help and advice to students who are actually based for most of their time in another school environment. Okay, muy bien, you all speak very nicely, I have to say, you've got very nice accents, so muy bien. The entire lesson can be recorded, so if a student is absent and um, they've missed out a part of a lesson, they can easily go back and review it. Um, and one thing that we'd really like to develop with this now is embedding um, recordings into the school's virtual learning environment and using some of the tools in the VLEs alongside the real virtual lessons um, in order to further the learning for homework purposes, for recap, revision, etc. The other thing as well that's another factor is ensuring the teacher who's providing this is actually sufficiently skilled to use the software from their end as well. Because clearly it's a very different experience teaching through this medium than it would, as it is for the students actually being on the receiving end. So you do need teachers who are enthusiastic about it, who want to make it work and are clearly willing to learn some new skills in the process as well. La, la pelota is a Spanish sport, yeah. You have to have a go at that sometime. It just feels like the person's in the room, so... It's, no, it's just like any other normal lesson, really. It's got a wide range of potential with a wide range of subjects, I believe. Uh, OK, muchas gracias y adiós. Buena suerte, good luck, buena suerte, adiós.